The coalition of CSOs for Good Governance have kicked against the decision by the Electoral Commission to compile a new voters register. Speakers at a forum in Accra rubbished reasons by the Electoral Commission for the new voters register, uh, insisting they are unattainable. Salam Amenya sat through the forum and has come through with the following report. All of you the forum was to take a critical look at the Electoral Commission's decision to procure a new biometric voters management system for the December elections. We have no option than to advocate for a no and do a no campaign and to bring this whole uh, decision by the EC to a halt like we did in the referendum. Speakers at the forum, which included managing editor of the Daily Insight, Kwesi Pratt, said he will lead Guineans to reject the 2020 general election results if the Electoral Commission fails to listen to stakeholders. He argues that the constitution grants the EC autonomy, but not absolute autonomy. Common sense tells us that you cannot have a public institution which is independent of the people's whose sovereign authority it exercises. Because if you have a situation where you have a public institution exercising independent authority above the sovereignty of the people, then they are beginning to play God. And that is dangerous for any democratic enterprise. Indeed, the commissioners themselves should remind themselves of how they got into office because their predecessors were removed from office in spite of their independence. Chairman of the People's National Convention, Bernard Mona, wondered why a register that was used to elect some 6,000 assembly members in the district level elections and biometric verification devices that worked about 98.8% as put out by election observers is not fit for the election of 275 MPs and a president. There was no difficulty with the devices. So these are the things that the Electoral Commission has said. Kodeo has come to confirm that the machines worked perfectly. The Electoral Commission, again in the uh, District Assembly elections, claimed that the voters' register is very credible, to quote um, Sami Tete of the Electoral Commission. Now, the question I want to pose is that why is the Electoral Commission interested in changing something they themselves have described as very credible for something whose credibility we don't know? On the procurement of new biometric verification devices, which the Commission says will save the country some 9 million cities, financial analyst Dr. Jerry Monfant disagrees. Is that on the same conference that was organized, the EC said in that document that they had used 2 million cities to refurbish almost all the old ones that wouldn't have worked. And they just did it. They bought new parts to replace them. And they had tried with it. They had used it. And it has worked perfectly. And had achieved 99.4% of accuracy. So why would you need 50 million to go and buy new equipment at this particular moment? Now, we have on the phone Dr. Kwesi Jonah, who is with the Institute of Democratic Governance, IDEC, to speak a bit further on this. Good evening, sir, and thanks for joining us. Good evening. Now, we have just 10 months to go into the election 2020. How prudent is it for us to get a new electoral rule? Uh, no, well, it has nothing to do with time. Uh, it, time matters, but the question is, whether the register you have now is fit for purpose. Is that, 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 that month or six months or the, the register you have at hand, is, is it fit for purpose? And uh, if you go into this question, you will realize that the current electoral rule is really, really, really not fit for purpose. We have too many names on it, that should not be there. Specifically, people who are dead over the past 10 years or so. Nobody in Ghana, we do limited registration every time, putting new names on the register. We hardly ever remove the names of dead people from the register. So this is really a bloated register 
uh, that can be used for all kinds of uh, purposes. Like but but, this, but this register, this register was cleaned in 2012. Yes. I beg, it was cleaned in 2016, I beg your pardon. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, you, you are confusing. When you were getting into the 2016 elections, mm. when you were getting into the 2016 elections, the MPP insisted that the register was not good. Right. So some attempt should be made. Uh, they, they, they first wanted a new register. Then the EC said, oh, they, 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 they were... These other ways of cleaning the register. Hey, that is not that is not clean at all. How tell me how many dead people's names were removed? Ask the EC. How many dead people's names were removed from the register? You ask them. What do they have a figure? No, it's no. Not, it's, not, it's not. It's not. It's not a question of cleaning. So if the register is not fit for purpose, you ask yourself. You have names of people who are dead years ago still on the on the register. You tell me. How can we remove those names? The names are very bad at reporting to the EC that this relative, that relative is dead. Can you remove the name? No. We, we, we hardly ever do that. I myself, if I take my village, this group, and relatives who have died over the past how many years, the names are still there. The names are still there. You know the reason? The reason is they, they will ask you to uh, bring the burial certificate, bring that certificate, bring that certificate. People don't want to go to that trouble. They, they don't even bother. So this register contains the names of very many people who are dead. But so uh, they're on the register. Now, um, th these disagreements between the political parties as well as the civil uh, society organizations, um, it, it is creating tensions. How do you think we can resolve that? Yes. No, I can understand the source of the tension. When the NPP was in opposition in 2015-2016, they complained about the register. They wanted a new register. In fact, they called the register an ECOWAS register. Don't forget, their complaint was not even about having too many dead people's names on the register. Their complaint was having too many people from neighboring countries on the register. And so, the, now that they are in power, the other major party now assumes that once they are in power, they will now begin to prosecute their agenda of changing the register. This is what is, what is creating attention. When they were in opposition, they didn't have the chance. Now, they are, so we will put them. But I think the register is so crucial, not only for a clean election, but also for the stability of, the, of our democracy. And, and so the, the, the thing to do is not to say, you are wrong. Those of you who are posting, you are wrong. It, it, it's to talk to them and... and go about the process in such a transparent and open manner that both sides will come to understanding, present the facts as they are, and so on and so But the way we, 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 we handle these things, it creates tension between the parties. Right. As if one party is wrong, the other party is right. But right. We, we have to go about it in a peaceful, democratic way that will bring understanding between the two parties over, over the register. Now, now, the EC, how would you suggest they go about engaging these political parties in the midst of all the tension and disagreement? I, I think the tension really is between the major opposition party and the ruling party. And the ruling party. Now, if I were the chairman, Kusi Jonah, chairman of EC, what I would do would be to set up a committee of crack ICT ethics uh, for both parties as well as from a neutral uh, uh, source. You know, please, let us look at the character of our register now. The number of names that are there, that should not be there, I then come to some kind of conclusion. Whether a new register, the way we are going about it, at, well, at least one side is wrong, the other one is right, and so on and so forth. And sometimes it is ridiculing the other side. It, it, it's not helping. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Most, most welcome. Dr. Kwesi Jonah is with the Institute of Democratic Governance.